This is Ali Abdal. He has the absolute best channel on YouTube about productivity, with a whopping 5.3 million subscribers and a New York Times best-selling book. But despite all this success, Ali is literally lighting money on fire by making some incredibly costly mistakes. Mistakes that most creators on YouTube are making. Yes, even you. Creators could be earning as much as 10 times more money with their YouTube channels if they just knew what I'm going to show you in this video. So let's dive into it. Ali has been very transparent, saying in his interviews that his YouTube business generates more than $5 million in revenue per year, with more than half his revenue and profit coming from sales of his course, Part-Time YouTuber Academy. When I heard him reveal that number on a podcast interview, I almost fell out of my seat. And not because that number is good but because it's so bad. His course sales are way too low relative to his audience size and reach. Compare those numbers to some of the creators that I've worked with to build their course sales strategy, like Rob Abasolo and his channel Rob Built. He has about 270,000 subscribers, and his videos average closer to 12,000 views per upload. And last year, he made over $5.4 million with his channel. He made the same amount of money as Ali, but he did it with a channel that is 20 times smaller. So what is he doing right? And what is Ali doing wrong? Let me show you. In an interview with Colin and Samir a few months ago, Ali said that he was transitioning how he sells part-time YouTuber Academy from a cohort model to a more evergreen model. What that means is he used to sell part-time YouTuber Academy as a six week program that had a start date and a finish date. That's the cohort model. And he changed it to something that was more self-paced, that people can buy at any time. That's the evergreen model. Ali, if you're watching this, I bet that transition didn't go as smoothly as you were hoping, did it? When Ali moved from cohorts to part-time YouTuber Academy being for sale all the time on his website, he eliminated one of the most important psychological triggers that was actually generating him a ton of sales. Scarcity. Before, Part-time YouTuber Academy was scarce. You could only get it when he decided to start a six-week class. And if you missed it, you missed it. What that does is psychologically force people to make a decision whether to enroll or not. It gets people out of indecision with the start deadline, and that dramatically increases sales. It's proven brain science because the biggest killer of sales is not people saying no. It's people saying maybe or I'll think about it, or not right now, because that's what the majority of people do. When you take those options away from people and they have to say yes or no, you get a ton more yes answers. Okay, now if you think I'm about to suggest that Ali should go back to doing cohorts, you'd be wrong, huh? Yeah, you see, Ali has a really good reason for stopping cohorts. He said while very profitable, they're just too stressful and too much work to lead and he wanted more free time. And that's understandable. So what he needs to do is level up his marketing strategies to make up for this. Let's talk about how he can do that. If you go to an Ali Abdal video, right in his description will be a link that takes you to his part-time YouTuber Academy sales page. And on that sales page, you've got three sentences of text at the top and an enroll now button that uses the very cute English version of enroll that just has one L. Now this is a big page with a lot of text on it and videos and all kinds of other stuff. I mean, look how small that scroll bar is. But all I've got to do to see what the price of this course is, is click that blue enroll now button. And boom, it skips all that sales copy that probably took literally hundreds of hours to write and build, and it takes me right to $9.95, buy now! I want to be crystal clear about something. This isn't marketing. This does not work. This is what you do if your goal is to sell the absolute least amount possible of an online course. It being really easy to buy and really easy to find your order form is not what's best for selling a $1,000 online course. The setup Ollie is using here is only converting the absolute hottest leads for him. It's not convincing anyone to buy this course who wasn't always going to be buying it anyway. The only caveat to that is the very small amount of people that will read through this very long, I'll be very well written sales page. And it's also kind of an audience mismatch considering where the traffic comes from. The vast majority of the traffic to this page will have come from YouTube. And instead of giving those people what he knows they like, which is video, he gives them something else, 
a really long text page. The delivery of this information should be in video format, preferably a video that is non-skippable, meaning you can't fast forward. And then you deliver them this sales page only after they have completed that video. I know there is a video at the top of this page, but I watched it. It doesn't accomplish much, and it just gets lost on the rest of this huge page. There's too much going on, and people have too much agency when viewing it. You want to focus their attention on a specific thing and guide them through it, not let them get lost. Another big problem with this page and strategy is Ali has the price of the course publicly listed. 90% of people that come to this page are going to scroll straight down to see the price first thing. Many will see it, get sticker shock, and then leave without reading the rest of the page. The few that do stay and read are now reading and trying to justify the price the entire time, which is a skeptical psychological mindset, and it isn't very helpful either. If you want a higher conversion on something expensive like this, the prospect needs to be aware of the value before they ever know the price. That way, when they do see the price, instead of having sticker shock, they actually think the price is a great value. They think it's cheap, not expensive. Ali needs to set this up so people can only know what the price is until after they know what the value of the offer is. That's where my concept of the non-skippable video comes in. If this page was just a 20-minute video where Ali details the benefits of the academy and after, say, 15 minutes on that page, the buy button and sales page then appeared below the video, his conversion would go up dramatically. It'd be as simple as that. And that's just a really simple way to go about this. You can get more complicated with things like evergreen webinars and stuff like that, but that's topic for another video. Another thing I wanna talk about is when Ali does reveal the price, he does that wrong too. Right here below the price, it says, payment plans available. Okay, cool. Payment plans significantly increase conversion. It makes your program much more accessible for people. But when you have a payment plan, you should reveal your price as the monthly payment amount because it feels way more accessible. And then you're able to position the pay in full as a discount which helps conversions even more. So how this works in practice is, instead of saying the price of part-time YouTube Academy is $9.95, you say, and you can get started with part-time YouTube Academy today for just $3.95. And here is how I would edit it on this sales page to look as an example. Oh, and something really funny here. Ollie actually makes it really hard to pay with a payment plan. In fact, I never figured out how. I clicked through and found no payment plan option on the order form. I tried clicking through the form to find it and ended up accidentally buying the course. That is not a joke. Here's my order confirmation to prove it. I went back to his FAQ and found, is it possible to pay in installments? But it doesn't tell you how, it just says you can. I enjoy the irony of Ollie making it incredibly easy to know the price and pay in full, but impossible to know how to pay in installments. There's a lot of sales slippage happening in there and that needs to be fixed. If you know Ali or know anyone close to him, you need to let them know about these problems. These are quick fixes that could make him a bunch more money. Now, as for me, I'm going to go finish Downton Abbey season two. I just, I just love the drama. Oh, and the, the costumes.